Okay, this is the um, pump bay on the back of our fire appliance. And what does everything do in here exactly? <laughs> We've got a controller which controls the pump. We can do high pressure and low pressure depending on what we um, are fighting. We've got a mast light that goes up so we can cover the whole area with lights. Um, we've got our outlets, so the firefighters squirting water. Um, their water gets from these delivery points here. And then we have our inlet into the pump, which is either comes from a river, or it could be coming from a swimming pool, a pond, or from a fire hydrant, or even from another appliance. And then on the back here, we've got what we call our entry control board. Um, this is for guys and girls who go in on um, BA into fires or um, hostile environments and we control whoever's in the zone. So what all this stuff is stashed in the side of the fire engine? <laughs> uh, obviously scene safety, so you've got yeah, traffic cones, uh, you've got your 15 metre line and 30 metre line, so if you're going up a ladder and you need to get something from the ground you can chuck the line down. Uh, you've got a hilti saw, which can be an alternative to the jaws of life if you want. Um, toolbox, granules, uh, you've got the hoses for your generator and your cutting gear. And then a first aid pack, which has got all your oxygen and stuff like that. And then hose. You've got a hose reel there, which is um, powered from the pump. So. You could just get to a job, pull it off, he'll turn it on and you give it a squirt. You've got delivery hose, which is obviously about 20 metres in length. You've got 70 mil and 52 mil. And then you've got cutting gear here, you've got spreaders and the cutters, and that's a ram. And that one there on the hand pump is a pedal cutter. So that's just work from the pump. Whereas these are operated from the generator there. And then you've got a turfer there, which is like a winch, basically. And another generator, some lighting. Stab fast, which is used for stabilisa yeah. stabilisation of the vehicles. And then more lights there. And you've just got more stabilisation blocks there. And your road closed sign. Uh, we got the um, yeah. salvage um, sheets for um, just dumping on the other ki uh, kits on the other side. We have chimney rods down there, um, your everyday tools, a sledgehammer, bolt cutters, our extinguisher. Then we have our PPV, which is uh, positive pressure, pressure ventilation. ventilation, and our light portable pump. That's for um, sucking up water from swimming pools and lakes. Um, what else we got? Again, we've got the high pressure hose reel and a normal hose, same as the other side. And a bucket there for chimney fires, which we can scoop rubbish out the chimneys. In this locker, we've got the hose inflation kit, we can put it to a cylinder, inflate it, and then stem or something in the water to stop it from going further. Bold water, environmental packs, so <coughs> contaminated stuff going on the ground, we can stop it from leaking into water sources and drains. Got life jackets, which we have to wear for canoe coast water. Uh, There's rakes. Spades, beaters with field fires. These are ones you can build up for chimney hooks and chimney hooks. And just various uh, bits of equipment to go to the back of the pump. The ground monitor so we don't have to go close to the fire, put it attached to a hose. This is um, what the BA wearers wear. If we're going into a hostile environment, normally um, like for car fires or we're going into a house fire um, or anywhere where we deem that we need um, breathing assistance. So we have a cylinder on the back and 
we would normally wear a full fire kit when we're wearing it, but for test purposes, it goes on goes onto our back. And we have a gauge which tells us how much pressure we've got, it tells us how much time we've got left. And just for purposes. It looks something like this. <laughs> okay, so this is a mobile data terminal. Uh, basically, the red dot is us, our fire engine. It's got GPS, so control can see where we're going. All these yellow bits are hydrants within the area, so whenever we go anywhere, we know where the closest hydrant is. Uh, the red ones, I think, are the ones that are out of use. Uh, you can obviously pan. You can normally, oh, there you go, pan the area so you can see where you're going because uh, they log the incident, where the incident is, and then you, you know which roads to take. Uh, you can also, if you go to a car accident or a car fire, you can pull up information about the car and the model. And it should tell you where all the safety safety features are, airbags, roll bars, stuff like that. Uh, 